Hello friends, this is Mayuri from Vidish Academy and in this section we are going to discuss about rotation of axis. So let me give the definition that is the transformation which is obtained by rotating both the coordinate axis in the plane by an equal angle say theta without changing the position of the origin is called rotation of axis. And now let me explain this using a rough diagram. For instance, we need to consider a coordinate plane with x and y axis. So this is the original system x o y and now let the axis be rotated through an angle theta in the positive direction about the origin to get the new system say o x dash and o y dash. And then let us consider a point P with the coordinates x comma y in the older system that is x o y. Then the coordinates of P will become x dash comma y dash in the new system which is x dash o y dash. And then let us give name to the foot of the perpendicular drawn from P upon o x dash as m. And here a perpendicular line which is drawn from P on o x as l. So, the angle between the two straight lines is equal to the angle between their perpendiculars. So, hence we can say that angle LPM is equal to angle XO X dash is equal to theta. So, let us write theta over here. And now, let N be the foot of the perpendicular drawn from M to PL. And let us write here Q. And now, in order to consider the coordinates of x, which is nothing but the coordinate of point P, that is this length, which is equal to OL. So, let us write x over here. So, x is nothing but OL. So, that implies we can write OL as OQ minus LQ. Now, let us replace LQ with MN. So, here we get OQ minus NM. So let us write the side ON by considering the triangle OQM. So from this triangle, cos theta is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. So here adjacent is OQ divided by hypotenuse OM. So that implies we can write OQ is equal to OM into cos theta. So let us write the value of OQ here minus NM. So by considering the triangle PNM, we get sin theta is equal to opposite sine which is nm divided by the hypotenuse pm. So from this we get the value of nm as pm sin theta. So that implies om is nothing but this length and its value is equal to x dash according to the coordinates of p into cos theta minus pm the second coordinate of the point p which is y dash. So we get y dash into sine theta. So this is the relation between the coordinate x and the coordinates in the new system. And similarly, we can also find the value of y which will be equal to this length with reference to old system. So let's write pl and pl can be written as pn plus nl. So that implies we can write this as pn plus mq. And using the same concept, we get here pm cos theta plus om sin theta. So that implies the value of pm is y dash. So we get y dash into cos theta plus om which is x dash into sin theta. So therefore these are the values of x and y. And from the above equations the values of x dash will be equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta. And the value of y dash will be equal to minus x sin theta plus y cos theta. And all these equations can be easily remembered by this table. That is nothing but if we need to find the relation from new system x dash which will be equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta. That is we need to consider only these two columns. And if we need to find the value of y dash we need to consider the first and the third column which will be minus x sin theta plus y cos theta. And for the value of x we need to consider first two rows that will be x cos theta minus y sin theta and for the value of y we need to consider first and the third row which will be x sin theta plus y cos theta. 
So make a note of all these equations. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example. So we need to find the coordinates of point P 1 comma 2 with reference to the new axis when the axis are rotated to the angle 30 degrees. So let us consider Px comma y is equal to 1 comma 2 and then the angle is 30 degrees. So theta will be equal to 30 degrees. So we need to find the coordinates with reference to new axis. It means we need to find new coordinates x dash comma y dash. So the equation what we need to use is x dash is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta and the value of y dash will be equal to minus x sin theta plus y cos theta. So by substituting the values of x which is 1 into cos theta that is cos 30 degrees plus the value of y which is 2 into sin theta which is 30 degrees. So that implies we get the value of cos 30 which is root 3 by 2 plus of 2 into the value of sin 30 which is 1 by 2. So that implies we get your root 3 plus 2 divided by 2. And now let us find the coordinates of y dash which will be minus of x which is 1 into sin 30 degrees plus the value of y which is 2 into cos 30 degrees. So that implies we get here minus 1 into sin 30 which is 1 by 2 plus of 2 into cos 30 which is root 3 by 2. So that implies we get minus 1 plus 2 root 3 divided by 2. So therefore we can say that x dash comma y dash is equal to root 3 plus 2 divided by 2 comma minus 1 plus 2 root 3 by 2. So these are the coordinates with reference to new axis. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos on this topic, visit our website VDG Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.